this is Dockside. Endless summer, Dockside on the Universal side. There's a Starbucks right when you walk in, and then there's a lounge and some food right down that way. And right here is the check-in. And then there's a studio store right there. This is 2324 at Universal's Endless Summer Resort Dockside. And you can see this is just a basic room. The door does squeak. Um, this is a value room. Two queens. Not a ton of space, but we are not here for a long time. This is a short weekend. Um, we got a nice pool view. Kind of hard to see in the dark but spin around and we've got a little chair and a tv some drawers inside here is going to be your little fridge which is really a cooler we all know little dorm fridges and then there is a connecting room so if you have more than four people then it can be connecting for you. And then here we go with the bathroom, just your typical hotel bathroom, shower, no tub, and a little vanity area. So basic, basic room. The price definitely reflects it. But hey, I mean, if you can get this place for around $100 a night, which is what we did, this is great. Um, you will need to take the shuttle over to City Walk. You cannot walk to City Walk, nor can you walk to the parks. You will be on the shuttle, but that's okay for a lot of people. And they do have some suites here that would accommodate um, bigger families. details in this room. I love this light. Look how right here you just pull the string. Isn't that fun? Nice little pictures on the wall. This is a nice room. You know, especially with the price that you pay. I really like this room. One thing that I forgot to show you was the closet and it kind of looks a little bit like a dorm like my daughter's in college it kind of looks like the way that they do theirs with a their curtain but you know what it works very cool and of course you can control your own temperature so that's 
even more of a plus. So at Dockside, when you check in, of course, we discussed that you'll be over here. If you have an email to do a mobile check-in, you want to do that and you can come here. And then when you want to leave, you can leave your stuff at luggage services and you can do that when you get here and you want to go to the parks or when you're leaving like we're doing and you want to go to City Walk. But it's just right here in the back and then we do it too. And then again, mobile order, I mean, I'm sorry, mobile check-in if you can, it'd be quicker. When you come out of the hotel, the buses are just directly out to your right and they are super fast. They go bam, bam, bam. There's already one waiting. Um, one thing about Universal that you don't have to worry about is that everybody's going to City Walk. So you don't have to pick a bus towards the park. You know what I mean? Like you do over at other places. So everybody's going to City Walk. And then once you get there is when you would walk to the place in which you're going. The only difference would be Volcano Bay and that you see this bus right here does say Volcano Bay. So that is the only difference. So don't get on the Volcano Bay bus. But all the other buses, as far as at the next bus stop, go to City Walk. You can see right here it tells you the resort shuttle. It gives you a map. But again, if you're going to the theme parks, you're going to City Walk, one bus. You're going to Volcano Bay, another bus. That's it. Those are your two choices. You can also enter right here if you have a key to get into Tower One, which is nice to be in Tower One. You can see our bus is already here. So in the suite, you'll use your key card to turn on and off the lights just like you would on a cruise ship. It opens up into a main room that has two queen beds, so that will hold four people. And you can see that there is a table in between, just like a regular room. And then you spin around and you will see that there is a picnic type table, plus a microwave and refrigerator so you can eat inside your room. A typical bathroom, shower, tub combination. And then in the main bedroom, there is a queen bed with lights on either side. And you can see that there's also a closet that's in here too. This room does have a door that closes off into the main area. So it's perfect for parents and you can put the kids out in the other room. You can see from this angle looking out from the bedroom. One last look at the two queens in the main room. This is a nice family suite that holds six people on Universal property.